How's it going YouTube? The Marvelous Collector here and boy did I have a blast today. So me, the wife, and the son went to our Permian Basin Comic Con, looked around, saw a whole lot of stuff that I wanted that I wish I could afford but hey you can only buy so much at once. So I did get a $300 allowance from my wife. Thank you sweetheart. Uh, it was a lot more than I was thinking I would be allowed to spend so I was kind of happy about that. Uh, I did end up buying about 15 Funkos, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13 Funko Pops. Um, and then my father had given Koi Wolf, uh, the owners of Koi Wolf, they had a booth there, a mystery box. So I'll go through that box too. Speaking of Koi Wolf, it was finally nice to actually meet the artist and the author of Koi Wolf. Uh, like I said in my prior videos, man, this is a great comic. I highly suggest y'all see these guys, um, order one of these comics, read it. They're doing autographs. It was nice to get an autographed copy of their magazine. Also, the art in this is amazing. So this one is one of the art pieces and it was signed as well. But I mean, I just love the art in this. It says, I am not alone. Guys, if you enjoy comic books, you want something that's a little different than the wham bam pow uh, Marvel type, uh, this is definitely one to look into. Uh, it's about Native Americans and the Hispanic culture. Um, it is a great combination of both uh, witches, um, transformations. I mean, this book has all kinds of stuff. So please check out that comic book. That is Koi Wolf. You can check them out on Facebook. Um, but they are part of the Comic Carts Hell. And that is listed up there. But like I said, guys, highly recommend this. Um, I'm not a very big comic book guy, and I really loved reading this. So check them out. Show them some love. Uh, it was great to meet them. Had a photo op with them. Uh, first time I've met them in real life. Uh, they have an ad for my YouTube channel in here. I helped them out. They helped me out. Um, like I said, small businesses, you got to stick together. With that being said, guys, let's go ahead and go into my hauls for today. Uh, it is going to be quite a long video, um, especially with the amount of stuff that I did get. Now, I will tell you that I got two. Uh, I was just keeping an eye out on two different sets. There were a few girls that uh, kind of caught my eye. And then there was one guy that was like three for 25. Um, he had exclusive pops that I think were well worth more than $7 or $8. So I did get a few, you know, kind of simple pops too, uh, but the money that he was offering. Uh, there were a few booths where I looked at the WhatNot app. They were charging 10, 15 bucks over uh, PPG value. I uh, did not buy from them. I did actually find all those pops elsewhere uh, for less than or equal to PPG. And I'm perfectly fine with doing that, but I'm not going to spend an extra 10, 15 bucks on Comic Con. Um, mentality of uh, Funko buying. So there were a few that were doing discounts, bulk discounts, stuff like that. Uh, met a few people uh, that own those booths, really great people. Uh, with that being said, guys, the two uh, lineups that I looked for, of course, are going to be my Venoms and my Zombies. Those are the ones that I've been doing out of box lately. They look the best out of the box. Um, so those are my target ones that I wanted to target and find the ones that didn't have. I'm going to have to move these. Uh, what I'm going to do is probably move these Street Series ones out. Can't get... Yeah. There. And there. All this area. It's going to be removed. I'm going to put the other ones out of the box. And I will move these Street Art ones out of frame. They're really neat looking outside of the box. Uh, but they don't really catch my eyes like these are going to. Uh, with that being said, guys. Let's go ahead and go into my Marvel Zombies. I only did find three that I really wanted that I didn't have. So the first one is going to be a topic exclusive, and it is the Zombie Silver Surfer. I really love the base on this one. He is amazing looking. So this one came with the Mysterio, Wolverine, Deadpool, and the Hulk. Now I do have the Wolverine, and I've got the Glow in the Dark one. I've got the Deadpool right here. I uh, do not have the Hulk, but I do have the 10-inch Hulk up top. Can't see him. He's out of frame. But this one looks good, guys. He's holding his head up. It's not even attached to his body. And the base of it is amazing. It is him just on the Silver Surfer. So I did get this one, and I'm excited to take him out of the box and add him to my zombie line. Um, 
Next one I did get is another exclusive, and this one is a 2020 fall convention, uh, limited edition. This one is the Daredevil. Daredevil looks amazing as well. It's got the white eye because, of course, he's blind. Um, people with cataract or anything like that, they have that blind eye. The uh, cane is kind of, eh, looks like a candy cane to me. Um, he's more known for his nunchucks, not really a, a candy type cane that he's got. Uh, his face looks amazing. It almost looks like Deadpool without the mask, how it's all grayed out like that. So this one is really cool. Um, the number on it, of course, uh, corns, uh, coincided with the devil himself. Uh, you got the 666 number uh, for the Daredevil zombie pop. So there's a little extra that they did on that. Uh, this one has the uh, zombie gambit and zombie Black Panther added. So this is when they brought the zombie Black Panther back. I did not find him. Um, I did look for him in a few spots. There were a bunch of Black Panther ones. Uh, but I did not find a single zombie Black Panther, unfortunately. So did not get to add that zombie to my collection. I think that would be the only one that I'm really missing. With that being said, guys, um, actually, I'm missing the zombie hole, too. So I am missing two. Uh, this one was another exclusive uh, that wasn't part of the original lineup, uh, but it is a collector core zombie. Uh, this one is the Red Skull. He looks awesome as well. One thing about this Red Skull that I really like is... He's got a hole straight through him that goes all the way through. Uh, you can see straight through it. So out of the box, this guy is going to look amazing. So those are my zombie pops. Uh, so I am only missing two zombies now. I'm missing the normal uh, zombie Hulk, which I do not have. And I am missing the zombie, what was it? Gambit. Yeah, zombie Gambit. Uh, so those are the two that I need. Uh, so if y'all see any out there, let me know. I'm very interested in them. So that being said, guys, I'm going to show you uh, two of the Simple Pops uh, that I did purchase before I go into my Venom Pops. So the first one, and like I said, these were $10 each, so I thought they were a good buy. They're both exclusives. Both exclusives I haven't seen. I didn't check the WhatNot what app on these, but they sell brand new uh, for $8.99 to $12.99, so 10 bucks. For an exclusive that I've never seen or don't have is worth it all day to me, even if it's a $7 pop. So this one is the Scarlet Spider. And Kane Parker is his name. So this one looks really cool. He's a lot, a lot of the Spider-Mans where they're not really touching the ground. Almost looks like he's levitated. I'm about to whip his rope around. It doesn't look like a web, really. It looks more like a rope. I'm not too familiar with this one. Now, I do have Sandman and uh, Craven the Conqueror. Uh, I have them. I don't know where I put them. Oh, they're right here, actually, yeah, out of frame. Uh, so this would complete that small set, uh, 523, 524, and 525. So those would be co complete on my Walmart exclusives. So I do have the Sandman here. These actually show that they're the Marvel 80 years. Um, so I guess they do take place. I, I really wish they would have the 80 year up here so I can put them with my rest of my 80 years. Uh, I always forget that I'm missing a lot of 80 years and they're really not missing. They're in my collection. Uh, they're just not labeled 80 years. So I got Craven the Hunter, Sandman, and now I got the Scarlet Spider. So this completes that set, which is really neat. I didn't even know that. Um, so without even knowing, I completed a set. Very hard to complete sets uh, in the Marvel Universe. I will tell you that. And the next one, guys, I thought this one was really cool. Uh, again, $10. It is a heavy pop. One, it's an exclusive. Two, it glows in the dark. Sold. So this one is Fantastic Four. This one is the Human Torch. And I guarantee this guy glows like crazy. He just looks like he's going to glow. His hair is going to glow. He's going to be like my uh, Venom Torch over here. He is my best glow uh, pop that I do have. Uh, so to add this one is really cool. Like I said, guys, I'm probably going to keep all these out of the box. Um, I've come to more of an out-of-box collectible. I can fit more on a shelf. They show up a lot better. They look a lot cooler in person. Um, it just looks a lot less bulky. Don't get the crazy glare. Um, all in all, it just looks better. So with that being said, guys, let's get into my Venom Pops. Um, I did get six Venom Pops. 
Um, so the first three I'll show you are the non-exclusive Venoms, and then the second three I'll show you would be the exclusives. Um, I kind of had a mindset to just buy exclusives, but um, with my Venom line and my zombie line, I do want to get them as complete as possible. So if I got to get commons to do that, that's fine. A lot of these commons look great out of the box, and they're not a bad price. Uh, so this one is the Daredevil, and it is the Venomized Daredevil. This guy looks cool. Uh, let's see here. It's I don't really have any Daredevils, I don't think. So to have two uh, added to my collection today are phenomenal. Uh, I will say, I don't know which one I like best. The teeth and the lips on this one look kind of weird, but he looks great. He looks like, you know the devil basically with the venom and he's got the horns coming out all the way instead of the small horns like on the zombie one um but it is awesome to have and i'm excited to add him to my collection he's got the dd on the chest and i do like that they gave him at least the sticks uh he doesn't have a weird cane like a candy cane uh like the zombie one i'm, I'm not sure why he's got a, a candy cane but next one and this is why I thought I had the Zombie Hulk. This one is the Venomized Hulk. This one is awesome looking. So you can see Venom, the teeth, uh, barbed teeth going around his leg right there. Almost like he's fighting it off as much as he can. But it looks like it is slowly starting to consume all his limbs. It is holding all his limbs. Uh, this one looks amazing. I do love the two-tone face. The half Venom, half Hulk face and the Venom tongue coming out on the opposite side. This guy is amazing looking and I can't wait to take him out of the box to look at him. Next one, this one is gonna be another out of the box um, one that's gonna look great. Really wish he would glow in the dark, but maybe with the lights underneath him, it looks like uh, it'd be easy to light up his base. So this one is the Venomized Iron Man. And he's got the red, uh, rocket blast going downward so he's floating in the air looks pretty cool um the spike suit eh, i don't really know how you venomized the metal um but all in all he looks really cool uh the metal teeth that they gave him i don't know if you can really see the shine in it uh, but he has metal teeth that looks really cool uh glad to add them into mine so i am missing i think i'm missing the venom captain america Nope, oh, nope, I do have Venom Captain America. I thought I did, but I couldn't remember. Uh, Carnage. I don't think I had the normal Carnage. I just have a few variant Carnages. Um, so I am missing Carnage. I did see Carnage there. Uh, he just doesn't appeal to me as much, so he'd be one that I get later. Same with Venom as Venom itself. Those two are the ones that I do need to get, um, but I do want to get the Avengers and all the other characters. That's one cool thing about the Venom and Zombie line is they can use all the characters. Um, I don't have to stick, stick to a specific movie um, to get a complete set. And they'll have all kinds of different ones. I know a lot of people say, oh, stop it, you're making too many, you're making too many. Keep making them, they're great. You have so many characters to use, utilize it uh, until the sales stop and then you know it's time to move on. So let's go on into one of my um, Exclusive ones. This one is a Walmart exclusive. This one looks kind of cool. He doesn't really look like a venom, venomized pop to me. But this one is the venomized Spider-Man. This one is really cool looking. Um, just with the gray contrast that it has, isn't very veno venomous. I guess you should say. It's, I wish it was more black, um, showing that overtaking. Uh, but this thing is pretty cool. He's got the black spider. Um, on his front and he's got one black leg and one red and blue leg so this one is pretty cool definitely going to be out of the box somewhat closer towards my uh, spider-mans this one right here is another walmart exclusive and this one looks pretty cool the way his flames are right now i don't know if this is a glow -a dark one if it isn't they really missed the ball on this one. This one would have been a great glow-in-the-dark one, but this one is the Venomized Ghost Rider uh, from Walmart. It almost looks like he's got a beard with the flames coming out of his mouth, uh, like the flames trying to escape. Um, again, you run into the 
Well, Venom and Fire don't mix well together. Just don't think too much about it. This guy is amazing looking. His eyes are amazing. The tongue is actually a flame. This guy is awesome. He used my second favorite uh, Venom Venomized one I picked up. Uh, this one was my favorite one. Now, I did find this one at three different um, booths. Two of them uh, were well overpriced. Uh, his PBG is 30 bucks. I uh, found one for 50, one for 40, and then I finally found the one that I purchased for 30. I'm okay with paying PPG prices. Like I said, uh, there's no problem. I don't buy these to sell them. I don't intend to make a profit margin. But with that being said, I don't want to overpay. I don't want to pay Comic Con prices just because I see it, I want it, I don't have it. It gets a lot of people uh, check your pricing. Uh, I, if they get mad at you for checking the pricing, then obviously. Uh, they're overpricing their products. So that being said, guys, this one was my favorite Venom Pop of the night. Um, let me take the price tag off of it. It wasn't my best Funko of the night, but this was by far was my favorite Venom one. And I did see it several times. Um, like I said, I finally found it for the right price. This one is the Venomized Green Goblin. This guy looks amazing. Uh, again, if they didn't make him glow. That was a downfall on their portion because that pumpkin at night looks like it would glow and it looks like it would be amazing. This guy is awesome. So his, even his uh, flight, uh, whatever you want to call it, has a venom front on it for the goblin face. So they really thought about this one. They really did add a few things. I did find a few other venomized ones. The X-23 I really wanted, but I got close to my budget. Um, and then I saw the Venomized group. He'd be nice to add to it, but he is not really good looking to me. He looks more like a flower um, than anything. So I didn't really want to get him. With that being said, guys, that will complete my Venom lineup and it completes my zombie lineup. So the next two, I only have two left, are going to be the Grells uh, that I did purchase. Uh, the Grells there were amazing. There were Grells for all kinds of stuff. I saw Qui-Gon Jinn, the hologram one for 175 bucks. Uh, a lot of grills were there. Uh, there were a bunch of Marvel grills. They even had the twins, uh, Billy and Tommy. I really wanted them, but 125 bucks for them is just a little too much. Um, that being said, guys, this one is amazing. I do like this one. Uh, this one is a Ghost Rider as well. So both of my um, grills are going to be mirrors of the other ones that I bought in a venomized form or a zombie form. Uh, so this one is the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Now this one, guys, is the LA Comic Con one. And this one is just amazing looking. His whole face looks like it's almost see-through with a more of acrylic background to it. Uh, I don't think it glows in the dark. It doesn't say. Uh, the, the one that takes the cake on this one, though, is Baby Thanos. He's literally carrying him like a baby on his front. This thing is amazing looking. I just, I saw it. I've only seen it once online. Uh, I haven't ever seen it in person. I definitely had to buy this. So this would be my second best grill and my second best pop of the evening. Uh, this one would have been my third best, which was the Hob or Green Goblin. Um, he by far was one of my favorites. Uh, but grill wise, this one was the second one. And my number one one, so I had a chance to buy this guy uh, three weeks ago, I think. Um, I actually went to Target Con and traded all my Target Con ones at Entertain Mart for cr store credit so I could purchase this one, only to find out that he had been sold within those two days windows that I did take. So I didn't miss out on him, but with that being said, I did find him at the Comic Con uh, convention. And not only did I find him, I found him for a lot less than his PPG and for what it was going to cost me a couple weeks ago. So I ended up saving probably about 32 bucks on this guy. And this one is the Metallic Chase Walgreen Exclusive Green Goblin. I am excited to have this one added to my collection, number 109. I didn't miss out on him. I'm so happy that I got this guy. I even walked around, make sure I was in my budget. And then as soon as I had uh, $100 left in my budget, I went and bought these two uh, grills. I just don't want to miss out on if I can find three or four other pops and then just buy one grill. I was going to do that. But I was excited to have 
uh, both these grills with all my other ones in my budget. So with that being said, guys, I will do my unboxing. Actually, let's do my unboxing now. Um, I am going to have to briefly pause this video to go get my K-Bar, which is in the other room. Uh, I wanted to do just the unboxing um, video by itself, but it's still part of the Comic-Con. I did get it there. It is from my father. Uh, so this one, it says, To the Marvelous Collector, uh, eight, uh, from McCord's Toys, a.k.a. Dad. Uh, he always does an amazing job at finding me stuff. They have toy conventions every weekend. We don't have those around where I'm at. He lives in downtown Dallas. Uh, he's always got access to pops that I would only dream about finding. So he's always sending me pictures. Hey, you got this son. You got this son. How much is this? He wants to make sure he's making fair prices, uh, purchases as well, as well as selling them at a fair market price. Uh, so I am his um, go-to guy when it comes to PPG values on his uh, toys. And in return, he pays me uh, with Funkos that I do not have. And I absolutely love it. I love you, Dad, and I appreciate everything you do. Uh, with that being said, let me run in the other room, get my K-Bar, and we will open this bad boy up, see what's inside. All right, guys, I'm back. Got my K-Bar. Let's go ahead and open up this bad boy, see what's inside. All right. It's crazy weather outside, so it's helling. Uh, we got thunderstorms. Texas has just been crazy on the weather this just in the last 30 days, we've had negative degree temperatures, record code colds that we're not used to. I mean, it was 80 degrees earlier, now it's 60 degrees in Helling. Um, it's just crazy weather. It just cannot make up its mind. All right, so we got the box open. All right. So I do see one that I just uh, bought yesterday that's going to be a duplicate. Um, here is, if you're around the Texas area... Uh, here is the next toy show that they're having. It is the North Dallas Toy Show, um, Saturday, April 3rd. And that is at the Dallas Event Center. If you're in that area, please check it out. My dad will be there. Um, they've got plenty of all kinds of stuff. It'll be like my Comic Con um, that I've walked around today, but even more. Uh, so I actually see a few duplicates. But that's all good. All right, so let's start with my duplicate that I do see. And that is the Hot Topic Deadpool that I bought on my um, weekend or week haul this week. So he is going to be a duplicate for me. Um, but this one is still neat. He is going to be good in value. So I'm going to go ahead and keep him. So I will put him down here. Also, he did get me another one that looks like it is going to be a duplicate. Let me pull it out real quick. There are a lot of pops in here. And guys, I, I love this one. I, I do. I might even keep this one out of box and keep one in box now that I got two. But this one is the Hot Topic uh, Miles Morales winter suit of him hanging upside down. I do really like this one, guys. Uh, he looks great. I might take this guy out. I took the other guy out, but he has no room from the base to the head, as you saw in my unboxing video on him. Um, maybe this one's got a little bit more room. I really would like to help hang him out of the box where he's just kind of not in his head back and forth. It'd be really cool. Uh, not just pressed super hard against it. All right. So the next one he got me, and I did see this one the other day. Uh, I didn't get him, and I'm glad I didn't. This one is Mr. Negative. And this one's from Spider-Man as well. Number 398. Uh, looks like he comes with Mary Jane, Miles Morales, and Spider-Man. Don't know too much about Mr. Negative, but this pop does look good. He almost looks metallic in a sense. Almost a silverish white with the black accent. Looks really good. Uh, so glad to have him added to it. Here's another 30th anniversary Deadpool that I don't have. And this one will be the barista one. And this one, <laughs> he just looks great. So he's got his big old beard coming out. Red beard. Uh, and it's got the, I don't know if it's like his tongue or how it's two-toned. Three-toned, basically orange, black, and pink. Uh, it looks different than it does in the picture because in the picture it just shows it as a normal brown beard. Uh, so it is definitely different colored than the picture shows. But this one is really cool. This one is the barista Deadpool. He's even got the uh, Deadpool gauges in his ears. Um, definitely. And the man bun on top, which tops off the, the barista hipster look. Um, this one is pretty cool. I'm going to have to definitely complete this set of the 30-year anniversary. 
Like I said, June 19th, Target. Deadpool happy birthday one. It's what I want. Uh, that'd probably be the pop for me uh, this year. This one right here is the OG. I don't think I have this one. No, I do not. Uh, my favorite character ever, guys, is Wolverine. This is the OG 80 year anniversary. Wolverine 547. Um, I do not have him. So I do have all my 80 years in order that are actually labeled 80 years. Uh, Y'all heard my rant about that uh, in the last video, I believe. Um, I really wish they would all say 80 years, but they don't. This one is amazing looking. This is like his OG uh, outfit that he had back in the day. I'm excited to add this to my collection of 80 years. All right, so this next one is a Spider-Man. I'm getting more and more Spider-Mans coming out, which is good because uh, you got the Spider-Man movie coming out. So this one is the wood uh, grain Spider-Man. I do have a few wood grain ones, but I do not have the Spider-Man. I have the Iron Man here, and I think I had... I had a Groot wood grain and a Captain America wood grain. Uh, the Groot wood grain, of course, it's Groot. He's wood anyway, so... Uh, but he is an actual wood grain one as well. So... It is neat. It looks like Entertain Mart is the one that does all the wood grain ones. All four of my wood grains are Entertainment Mart exclusives. Um, so it's pretty cool that they have their own exclusives. All right. So these next three right here, let's go ahead and go with my Gamora. A little bit of box damage, but like I said, I'm not a big box person unless I purchase the... Uh, Funko from a website or anything like that and I expect it to be a good pop. Uh, this one is pretty damaged on the top but it's all good. This would probably be one I take out of the box anyway but this one is Gamora and she looks great. So I don't have too many Guardian of the Galaxies and I honestly have zero Star Lords. I actually saw a Star Lord today that kind of caught my eye and I'm like man I need to buy one. I don't have any Star Lords. Uh, I do love uh, Star Lord in the movies. He's played by a great actor. Um, definitely need to get one of those. So I've got a few. I got a lot of Groots. I do like Groot. Um, I think that's. I have a, a like one or two Rocket Raccoons. Got the Venomized Rocket right here. Um, he has no base and is pretty poorly made because he's very hard to stay up there. He likes to try to commit suicide. Uh, so this one is a flocked one. Now I will tell you. I think this is my first flocked pop. Yes, this is my first flocked Marvel pop. So, uh, definitely a first for me. But this one is Beast, and he is flocked. I don't know what exclusive he is to. I think it maybe it was Hot Topic. Um, we're missing that sticker, but that's okay. Um, this one is cool, and I don't have any flocked ones. So, it looks like his hands, feet, and his face are all flocked. So, it's really cool to add one. I'm actually surprised I don't have a flocked. Huh. I guess they need to make more Marvel flocks. I think they had a Rocket Raccoon flocked one, if I'm not mistaken. And then the last one, guys, and this is a going to be added into my zombie collection. Um, this zombie set, I don't have any of. The Zombie Gambit, Doom, Thor, MODOK, or Red Hulk. But this one is the Hot Topic exclusive Zombie She-Hulk. Um, I ran the Hot Topic trying to find this one. I did not find it. Luckily, my dad did find it, said he'd give me one. And bought a few extras for his show. Uh, this one is pretty cool. I don't have any She-Hulks. So this will definitely be a good addition to my zombie line. With that being said, guys. Uh, great box. Dad, I love you. Appreciate everything you do for my channel. Um, I had a great day today. I definitely have a lot of pops. I'm going to spend probably the next hour, hour and a half. Trying to rearrange everything. To add these that I really like. And maybe move some of the non-exclusives out of frame. Um, and then we'll go from there. But guys, I hope you had a great day. I hope you enjoyed my videos. If you did, please like, subscribe to my channel. I could really appreciate it. I'm up to 70 subscribers and I, I just want to get more. Um, I love doing videos for you guys. I love purchasing pops. I love expressing what I love to y'all. Um, it means the world to me that y'all do watch my videos. So with that being said, guys, I hope y'all have a marvelous weekend and take care.